First Lady Elizabeth Monroe grew up in New York City, the nation's capital at the time. She was just a teenager when she met James Monroe, a representative from Virginia. After the pair married, they moved there so James could practice law. Years later, James was appointed as American minister to France. Elizabeth joined him in Paris and became a star amongst the French elite. She was even called La Belle Americane. Elizabeth used her popularity to further American diplomacy. Marie Adrienne Lafayette was imprisoned after her husband, Marquis de Lafayette, left France. He was a leader in the French Revolution and had helped the U.S. during our own Revolutionary War. Elizabeth visited Marie in prison, a move that helped get her released. When James became president, Elizabeth failed to fully embrace her role as first lady. The American people saw her as a European elitist. Elizabeth didn't help her image much either, as she stayed away from those she viewed unsophisticated. Unlike former First Lady Dolly Madison, Elizabeth didn't host or attend many events. She even missed her husband's inauguration and reception. While part of this can be blamed on her attitude, the main reason she refrained from social visits was her health. She had what is believed to be epilepsy. This information wasn't publicly shared, so when she skipped events for health reasons, the American public assumed she had mental health problems. In 1826, she had a seizure that caused her to fall into an open fireplace. Elizabeth got severe burns and died just three years later at the age of 62. Now that you know where we've been, find out where we're going. Tune in to Ladies Love Politics, where you can stay informed without going insane.